This video will show you how to use YouTube, how to view a video, what all of the different options are in YouTube, creating your own account so you can save videos as favourites. Uh, let's get started. To start you go to youtube.com in the browser, whatever browser you're using, which will bring you up with the YouTube home page. Uh, at this point, if you have an account, you would sign into your account and that way when you're looking for videos and you find them, you can add them to your favourites or you can create playlists for your favourite videos. If you don't have an account, then it is a good idea to create one. So clicking Create Accounts. If you have a Gmail account already, you can sign in using that Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, then here is the, the place to sign up for one. So working your way through all the steps by filling in the information, going to next step, and eventually you'll come to complete your Gmail account. And it's at that point you're ready to sign in. So we go back, sign in. with your username and password. Stay signed in so you don't have to keep doing this every time you go to YouTube. And now I'm in logged in and it has all my information up here and which uh, videos I like and what playlists I've set and you don't have to do any of that if you don't wish to. But what you want to do is find a video. So let's pick one of the videos from the course we're going to look uh, at. So multitasking var for the iPad. And you could be in your search query. You can use a lot of words. You can use a phrase. It will find information for you. Put in your search term and click the magnifying glass to search. And it will give you a lot of options on what videos uh, fall under that category and you might not know what you're looking for, in which case you might click a few, play them, see which ones you like. The one I'm looking for is a little down here and it's one of the ones in our course, the iPad multitasking bar. So I can click it and that video will open up and it will immediately load in the background and start to play. Now I'm going to at this point stop that video and mute it so we don't have that sound going across as I talk. So that is the mute and unmute um, button. There are a number of options. I'll start the video playing again. There won't be any sound. There are a number of options across here that would be very useful to you. If a video has captions, in which case it's a transcript of the video, you can see if it has. This one does. I can click that and then the transcript will start playing. So as we're playing through this video, the transcript is also playing in the background. So it's generally every um, word that is on that video is linked to that transcript as in the form of captions. So if I turn the, the volume back on... Another app that's open, say the calendar. Double tap, picking different applications is much quicker than trying to search for them amongst all your iPad apps. Let's turn that off again. Uh, if you get tired of captions, turn them off. Uh, some videos will have captions, some will not. And you're just going to have to, to, to see if it does. At the same time, down here, which seems to be a new uh, option to YouTube, is an interactive transcript. So you can have the actual transcript playing as you go without having the captions turned on. So at the moment, this is what we're up to. It's just zoomed up here, so this is what we're up to. 1 minute 18, 1 minute 22, 1 minute 25, and you can follow along there what is actually being said at that time. If there are different languages, you'd be able to select by clicking on there for a different one. Turn it off by, by clicking that button. Um, the videos have numbers of uh, different types of quality. Uh, if you click settings, they usually come up in, in quite a low resolution because that's quicker, but it's not the best to view a video in. 
what you should always try and do is look at it in high definition and that may depend on your system if it's very old or quite slow then it might take a long time to to load that video and you might find it's easier to go down a little bit this one's quite low and if you have some fine detail it's not it comes up as blurry if a video is blurry then check the settings button and see if you can get it at a higher resolution if we click the 720hd it'll now load that version and my computer's fairly fast so it shouldn't take long to start again if it starts to splutter and stutter and lag then your computer is not fast enough to look at a video in HD and mine is also looking like that at the moment too it's looking a bit slow it's starting now so it's now a little bit better and once we put it into full screen that would be clearer but this one is now playing in high definition 720 uh, this button here if you want to watch that video a little bit later you can you can click that and it will allow you to come back and watch it again later never used it that much this is the size of the player this is the small player which is I think what we're in at the moment the small player this will put it into a, a larger player and this one full screen so it looks even better and because it's in high definition that is quite clear to get out of it usually escape works to get you back to um, the player settings I'll go back to small player if you like that video and you want to be able to find it again later you could add it to your favorites and I have 30 videos already added to my favorites clicking there and I can do that because I'm logged in if I wasn't logged in I wouldn't be able to add it to my favorites because YouTube doesn't know who I am uh, you could also create some playlists and put all those videos into playlists uh, and I think I'll go into that at the moment um, if you wanted to find more videos by the person that created the one you're looking at for example I've created a few more you could click on that person's name and that will take you to my channel and I haven't got that many here but I've started to create a collection for the iPad this one is the playlist for getting to know the iPad you can click on that and all of the the videos in the in the the first week of the of the course are are listed here you can access them from here as well as the other technology.com website uh, if you want to subscribe let's go back um, and back again to that person's channel you can subscribe it won't let me because I'm already in the I can't subscribe to myself but if you wanted to subscribe to this person and their channel and so all that's every video that they add up there you can access a little bit quicker than trying to search for it you can subscribe to the channel all the videos that that person has done is available here so you can see all the videos by going through the different pages and often I find it's quicker to go and go to the to the actual channel because videos are usually sorted into playlists which makes them a bit easier to find uh, search for another one by going up here we can search for uh, what keyboard shortcuts and I have no idea if I'm going to find anything it comes up here with some uh, examples of what you what it thinks it might you might want if none of those are what you want I want iPad keyboard shortcuts not nothing else I'll add the word iPad uh, and search and there's a whole lot of videos there that that you'll find that you can just work your way through every time you find one you can add it to your favorite or you can just watch it and find another one so if we, if we uh, pick one is this is the one I'm looking for the one in our course iPad keyboard shortcuts and I can use all these tools here to buttons here to get the experience working a little better I'll just stop that other suggested videos will appear across here so if they're in a series like this one is a series it starts to to give you other ones that you can watch in the series you have information down here on what the video is about it gives you the tags the category uh, you can show more or less um, you can like it or dislike it I'm not sure I usually do that terribly much um, you can leave a comment 
to the uh, creator whether you, whether you want some explanation or you like it or dislike it uh, and then if you don't like any of those you can just keep going back and there's a whole lot more here until you find the ones that you that you want you'll learn an awful lot using I, I using YouTube it's not just for uh, videos that that are viral and, and are silly it is an excellent learning tool